The truth about buying foreclosed homes. You know what? That's a really great subject. And it sounds so enticing to buy a foreclosed home. You get a good deal. You know, it's a discount, all that stuff. Amazing. It sounds wonderful. I have buyers through my 22 years of real estate career had called me and they're like, I want to buy a foreclosure. Okay. I would ask them, why do you want to buy a foreclosure? Well, you know, I can get it in a discount. It's such a great deal. Yes, you do get it in a discount, but you also have to remember that the discount you're getting into may be costing you a lot of money. So let's break this down. My goal is to help you understand what is it, and then you can make an intelligent decision, figuring out if this is something that you want to do. So it's important to understand how does it even get into this point and how it becomes a foreclosure and the difference between a foreclosure and a short sale and a bank owned REO. I do have a lot of that uh, information available for you in other videos on my channel. So if you're interested in learning more, then you could definitely watch those videos. So let's look at the, at, at the timeline because it's very important. So a foreclosure, it's a very general word that will have some different types of situations within it. However, the subject today is we're talking about a foreclosure. The homeowner has been evicted. The bank is now the owner of the property and they are now selling it as a bank owned REO or foreclosure. So let's look at the timelines because it's really important and that's where you're going to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. So let's say that a homeowner stops paying their mortgage. After three months of missed payments, the bank will begin the foreclosure process. Now let's move fast forward and understand that once the foreclosure process is complete and all the other available options that the homeowner had did not utilize those options or did not qualify to utilize those options, eventually the bank will be granted the seize of their home. At that point, they will go through the process or of the eviction and then eventually they evict the owner and then they are now considered to be the owner of the property. What happens from this point is where I want you to really pay attention to. Now the homeowner moved out. Most of the time the homeowners that are in foreclosure and they already know that they're going to lose the house, they completely destroy the house. They really don't care and believe it or not, I've seen situations where homeowners destroyed the house completely, stripped it from plumbing, uh, ripped up the walls, ripped up the wiring, you name it. So the house is totally, totally messed up, <laughs> for a lack of a better word, right? So now from the point that the bank is now the owner of the property, I've seen an average of six months time from the time they actually get the house to the time that they actually list it for sale with a real estate broker. Now, keep in mind during that time, what happens to the house? It just keeps deteriorating, right? Because nobody's taking care of it. Uh, there are some servicing companies that hire um, like a company to go and border up the house maybe winterize the house. But usually what I've seen, what happens a lot of times is that by the time they do all that, there's already roof leak damage that damages everything inside the house. The water leaks from the roof. Nobody really knows right away because the house is vacant. The other options that can happen is that there's squatters in the house. So without really getting into all of that. So you got to think about this in such a way where, okay, what are you really getting yourself into? Now, I know some people talk about buying a foreclosed home and they're trying to say that, oh, do your homework. Maybe there's other liens and that's true, but not so much when we're talking about bank owned REOs, which means it's already foreclosed. It's already been to an auction. Nobody bought it. 
and it is now uh, a true bank owned REO that's being sold. It's vacant and stuff like that. Now, some of the foreclosure homes, they are considered to be HUD homes and HUD will come in and they will do the renovations. But then again, you are no longer buying a foreclosure really that's a good deal because now the bank is looking to get it sold at fair market value. But for the purpose of this video, we're talking about buying a true foreclosure, right? So you don't really have to worry about other liens. However, you don't really know much about the property. So you will come in, this is the process. You'll go look at the property, just so you would look at any other property. You'll be able to assess it. Most of the time, the utilities are always off. You might be lucky and there would be electric if it hasn't been long enough for the electrical company to shut off the service. But because the bank winterized everything, um, then the water is going to be off. You can't really check the plumbing. You don't know if there's any leaks. You can kind of determine if the roof is leaking because you will be able to see any evidence of water, even if the water has dried. But you can't check the utilities. You don't know anything about if the furnace is working, if the hot water heater is working, if the gas is working. So all of these things. And that's why it becomes a more of a project for people who are either flipping properties or investors, contractors, which most of the time they are looking to still flip the property. So that's something that I really want you to kind of think about when you are excited about buying a foreclosure. Now there's other types of foreclosures, like years ago, for example, you probably had a much better option and opportunity. There was a lot of foreclosure, especially after the real estate crash, 2008, 2009, even 2010. There was so many foreclosures on the market. The other way that I've been seeing uh, this time around is that the banks are actually putting those properties on a web auction and actually they have they are not re making any representations of anything. So what they're looking really to do, which is a completely opposite from back in the day, um, is that that they're trying to not only get their money back and make themselves whole to recuperate the loan that they actually lend to the the homeowner they're now actually it looks like and again you know i can't guarantee but just from observation and knowing the market it looks like they're actually trying to make a profit on these properties i've also been seeing where the properties are being sold with the, whoever's occupying it and like, we don't know who's occupying it it might be the homeowner it might be a tenant it might be a squatter and all these things so again it's a really great way to buy properties that are in distress but it's also i must warn you to be very cautious when you are thinking about when you are just a ordinary home buyer and and you looking to see if you can find yourself a home i would probably say focus more on properties that are sold by hud at least at the least they are putting those properties they're repairing them they're making them look nice but again i can't tell you for sure if um, the quality of the work is good but at least it gives you the opportunity to get an inspection done all the utilities are on and things like that it really is a good opportunity for you if you are willing to take the risk but i do urge you to work with a professional who can assist you who can guide you and have another set of eyes especially if you're not experienced and if you think that you're buying a house at a discount, you really have to know what you're getting yourself into to make sure that you're not going to find yourself like you have overpaid for a house in the long run and created a headache for yourself. Hope this video was helpful to you. I have a lot of content about foreclosures, short sales. My goal is to help my community and educate my community in all real estate aspects, particularly around the subject of foreclosure. 
If you happen to know anyone who's in this situation and need help and guidance, please send them this video or any other video on my channel. And if you have any questions, you may ask me them in the comments below or email me directly and I'd be happy to answer or guide you in the right direction. Thank you so much for being with me today. I appreciate and value your time. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, share with your friends, and I will see you on the next video.